the end of 1938, things were heating up all around the globe. Germany boasted about the power of its war machine, and Japan was moving forces across the board. Then one day, giant ships appeared in the skies and lingered there. The forces of the galaxy had united and were planning to seize Earth under the lead of Supreme Führer Yoda. They had clones, droids, and regular infantry at their disposal, and were eager to fight for their Führer. Hail Yoda! But the waters needed to be tested before the invasion began, and all around the world, probe droids were sent to scan and collect data for the war effort. Earth's governments were unsure how to respond to these intruding droids, but all agreed that the action was seen as hostile. On several small islands in Japanese waters, pro droids were spotted as well, and it was here where they first responded with violence. The droid's armor was stir, but not impossible to destroy. After being provoked, it answered with blaster fire, killing a handful of soldiers before being destroyed itself. Central Europe got a visit from the droids as well. As they were heading through fields and farmlands, Germany sent in troops and armor to quickly deal with the problem. The open terrain meant it was easier for more probe droids to navigate through, but it was also easier to take them all out. Nevertheless, there were still casualties with the Germans as well. Patrols were sent all across Central Europe to deal with more sightings. Stalling would have none of it, and immediately rolled out its tanks to eliminate these metal invaders. It was at the same time a display of power, and unsurprisingly, the probe droids did not shoot back. Their blasters were too weak to damage the Russian vehicles. The ease with which the pro droids were destroyed seemed like a glorious victory, but moments later, some of the armor got blown up by a laser coming from one of the ships in the sky. In order to avoid these, the armor would need to keep mobile. After having collected enough data, the first skirmish could begin to test the strength of the people of Earth. They chose Japan as their first opponent. Unknowingly to the citizens of Earth, the joint forces of the galaxy sent in their weakest units, the droids. Their weapons were weak and armor thin, but nevertheless their numbers were high. The rockets shot by the super battle droids often missed their target, and were often unable to kill the Japanese dug in their trenches. The droids came closer as they easily moved through the shallow water of the rice fields. When they came close enough, the mortar teams opened fire on them. The mortars were strong enough to deal with the super battle droids, but the dwarf spider droids were a different story. Though they were not equipped with deadly rockets, their armor was thicker than the rest. The Japanese tank focused its fire on the little critters as they slowly drew near. But even the Japanese tank needed multiple hits before the enemy could be destroyed. The explosion that followed was so large that it took out many units with it. The tanks seemed to hold and take on the punishment by the droids. It focused on the last remaining spider and with a few hits this one bit the dust as well. The droids had lost their most armored units, and the rest quickly suffered incoming mortar fire.
The tank returned the punishment to the droid's infantry as it was clear they were on the winning side. Only a handful of droids were left, and the Japanese armor rolled out to deal with the leftovers. Though victory went to Japan, it was clear to them too this was merely a test. In order to withstand stronger incoming attacks, the people of Earth needed to bond together in order to stand a chance. The differences of their leaders needed to be set aside. Hitler vowed not to pursue the creation of an Aryan race, as he mentioned that his eyes were opened to fight for the survival of the human race in general. And thus, British and American troops were migrated all over Europe and Asia, sharing knowledge and power. The bonding of nations hopefully would speed up technological advancement regarding their armor, as it was considered weak. And so it became that those who were at each other's throats embraced each other as brothers, as they would fight alongside each other to fight off the Galactic Invader.